So this is an essential skill for riding your e-mountain bike. This is how to manual. Manualing an e-bike really is the same skill as manualing a normal bike, but there's a couple of things that you really need to concentrate on to get a good one. But first, let's talk about why you want to be able to manual an e-bike. When I say manualing, all I really mean is unweighting the front wheel and getting it off the floor. Now that is the first step of getting a proper bunny hop. You've got to nail this manual first. So this isn't really the case of trying to learn a manual so you can show off and ride down a fire road on your back wheel. It's all about doing the body weight thing. Now, as anyone who's ridden a full suspension e-mountain bike knows, they are monster trucks. The suspension works really well and they can plow through some pretty gnarly terrain. But eventually, if you don't start unweighting wheels, you'll come unstuck. You'll hit something that's really slippy or really technical and you'll have to start getting the bike off the floor. Sometimes it's not actually a case of getting the wheels hopped up and off the floor. Sometimes it's just a case of unweighting those wheels. For example, your front wheel might be hitting a really slippy route or a step. And if you hit it with full weight on it, you can crash. So the manual is step one for unweighting, bunny hopping, but also a gateway to riding more technical terrain. So that's why, now this is how. The manual all starts from your ready position. So standing nice and tall on the bike, knee slightly bent right in the middle. And the first thing you need to do is drop yourself centrally down to the bike. So it's really important to have your seat out of the way. That's what we call the pump, just like pumping a trail for speed. Drop your hips straight down towards the saddle. Just as your bum's about to hit the saddle, then you go to the back of the bike. Now these two things are really important on an e-bike because of the weight of the motor and the battery, you are gonna to need to put more force into this. So a really forceful pump, nice and quick, using all your weight, and then straight back towards that back tire. It's really important that your bum actually gets close to that back tire. If you end up going like this, up into almost a V shape, you're not gonna move that weight far enough over the back tire, and the manual isn't gonna be good enough. So it's really important to get that L shape that I always talk about doing when it comes to manuals. So we get regular questions on Ask GMBN where people are really struggling to get a manual. And it always comes down to that movement. You need to get those two movements in one. So you go down, then back. Often people just go down and back in one go, so they cut the corner. So you really got to think about your hips being your weight and you're trying to pivot the bike around that rear wheel axle. So you've got to get your weight back. And like I said already on e-bike, it takes a bit more force. As you drop to the back of the bike, you need to keep your arms straight. So from my tall to down to back, my arms will actually lock out and then keep them straight because that will help you keep your balance on the bike. If you then try and pull, it's often the case where then people start losing the balance, the bars turn a little bit. Another really important thing is to keep your head up because that really makes a difference. The weight of your chest, if your head's down, it's keeping it to the front of the bike. I would always recommend practicing manuals on flat pedals. Because in the worst case scenario, if you get that front wheel too high, you can at least jump off the back of the bike. But really, you don't want to be doing that. What you want to learn is how to use that back brake to drop the front wheel again. If the front wheel gets too high, give that back brake a pull, it's going to drop down straight away. Now, what you really want to get used to is finding the balance point. And the easiest way of doing that, especially on an e-bike, is use that motor to help you get into a wheelie and then really get a feel for when that front wheel wants to come back too far, where it's just below that balance point. Get a feel for it, practice that back brake, and eventually, with practice, you will get it nailed. These are the two most common mistakes when it comes to manuals. The first one is pumping down and then going up and back. So that can lift the front wheel. When the front wheel lands back on the floor, your weight will get back onto that front wheel really quickly and also means you're not going to be able to get a bunny hop because to get the second part of a bunny hop and lift your rear wheel up off the floor, you need to go from a low position to stand up and tall. The second one is using muscles rather than body weight to lift the front tire. That's when you can start losing your balance. And again, if you use your arms, when the front wheel lands back on the floor, all your weight is back on that front tire. And if you get the timing wrong, for example, on a route, that can cause you some issues. So 
So now I'm going to show you a few places on the trail where a good front wheel lift or manual is going to help you out. Now this section is kind of technical, there's lots of rocks and roots and as you can see just down here there's a route now that goes diagonally across the trail, those ones that can really catch you out. Now ideally you're going to lift your front wheel ever so slightly to get over the back of that route but because there's so much stuff going on you might not spot that until the last minute and as I was just saying you really need to put a lot of force in to manual an e-bike. I might actually not find enough time to do that here but I'll do the same motion as quick as possible and even if my front wheel doesn't come off the ground too much hopefully with that weight off it because now my weight's going to be at the back of the bike in that manual position and with a bit of that suspension helping out, I'm going to get over that route and not come unstuck. So rocks, roots, anything really slippy that your front wheel can slide on, try and lift your front wheel over those. But also for drop-offs, you don't want your front wheel plummeting off the edge, especially on bigger drops. So try and match the angle of the landing and try and land pretty much two wheels at the same time. It's also really important to do that whilst you're looking at what's after drop off, especially in this situation, there's roots, there's trees. I need to be seeing this in my peripheral vision. So I'm looking at the trail down there, I can still see the drop just here. A lot of the time when you're doing technical climbs, you can rely on wheelies to get your front wheel up steps. But in this case, it's pretty big. I'm gonna need some momentum to get up this. So I'm gonna set myself off up this bank, go as quick as I can. So when I get this step, I can come off the pedals and just give it a manual to get the front wheel up that step. And actually sometimes I might need a little bit of a rear wheel lift as well to make sure I don't slam into it and stop and then keep pedaling away. So that's how to manual an e-bike, get practicing. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. We're gonna move this on very soon to do a how to bunny hop video. So really learn about unweighting that bike and starting to ride some really technical terrain. If you wanna see some more videos, click over there for a pro bike check with Nicholas Villiers and over there for some descending tips. Give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.